What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 75 on my journey to 1200 ELO. So, if you guys enjoy my content, please like and subscribe, and here we go. So, tunes, scene switch, and let's get into it. We are rated 1164 after weirdly two drawn games in a row. I don't draw too often. I either lose miserably or I win. Um... <laughs> But uh, last one, we drew against a 1300, which was pretty nice. So I'm looking to uh, maybe get something similar to that now. It looks like we're playing a Slav. Um, I'm not... I have not been studying uh, the Slav very much. I don't know much about it. This move doesn't work because the Knight is there to deal with it. But I think we can play a semi-slav and play closed in um if once he moves his bishop i think i'll take is kind of my plan <clears throat> all right so he takes first i think taking this way is justified it opens up my bishop so I'm going to do that. And we have kind of a boring position now, but. So he brings his uh, bishop over to here. Um, I can I can bring my bishop here and attack the queen if I want to, or I could just get castled or I could get this knight developed, which I don't know if I really wanted to block my bishop. So, bringing the bishop here. If he plays like this, that could be something. Um, he could just move the queen if I put my bishop over here, however. Um, I'm just going to castle since I don't know what to do with my bishop right now. My king's safe. If he puts the knight here, I will definitely be... Ah. So, he... Uh, commits with a pawn to h4. That's probably a great move. I, I don't know. It looks like some pro-style pro move. I hope I'm not uh, missing something. All right, so we'll capture back with the bishop. I don't have this anymore, so I'm glad I didn't play that because I don't think it would have been a good move. So it looks like he wants to go for like a check right here. Maybe. It's what it kind of seems like. Um, check. I slide over. Does that really bother me? Um, I don't know if it does or not. This bishop is kind of... I mean, this is a weird game to me already. I really don't know. I want to bring... Maybe getting the rook. Oh, it looks like he might want to castle queenside. Maybe that's what he wants to actually do. Um, getting a rook to the file is whatever. But if he just castles, I mean, I'm just staring at granite, right? Um, I want to get this bishop developed. So I'm going to. Maybe I slide it right in here. Felt like these two squares are a little too passive, and obviously I can't go to f5 with the bishop, so felt like g4 is alright. Um, I don't think I want to take. Probably not. But I also don't know if I want this either. I mean, maybe I do. I'm not liking it, man. Um...
I'm going to develop the night and just hope that I'm not missing a bigger picture. My opponent's playing quite a bit faster than me, so he's got plans, I guess. I mean, I did castle first, so I gave him kind of a direction to attack. Everything in my opponent's position is pretty well defended. Alright. That gives us a way to get in and maybe attack some things. Um, now the knight is pinned. So we can't move the knight. <clears throat> Let's see. I kind of want to reroute my pieces this way. Um, yeah, I feel like that'd be a decent idea to get my pieces on this side of the board. Do I want my knight here? I'll bring my queen all the way here. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Um... Probably to push a pawn. That would probably be... Mm. I'm just going to throw a5 forward since he castled queenside and try to attack as fast as possible. Maybe backing my bishop up is a decent move, but I'm, I mean, I guess I can just take that if he does that. I might take the knight eventually. I just don't really want him lining up on my king, but it might just be inevitable. We castled opposite sides, so. I want to attack my opponent. I'm trying to think of a game plan, like maybe bring this bishop over. We could trade this. I'm fine with that. Um, I will take. I'm cool with that. Um, my knight is kind of feeling a little loosey-goosey right now. I'm going to push the pawn and just try and break things open. <clears throat> this might not have been a bad move. I can go to kick the knight out. My plan is to bring the queen over and start attacking, but I need to move the knight before I do that. So maybe something like this. That actually looks like a great way to go about things. So maybe this will be my plan. Ah, he's going to start just Rochambeauing me. Um... If I push this, it attacks his queen... He can't go here, he can't go here, he can't take, and he can't take my bishop, and he, because my knight is defending. And I can drop my bishop back. And I can bring my knight in. I'm still defended over here, which is, like, nice. He is lining up pieces, though. I can imagine this rook comes over. All sorts of things. My queen needs to get 
kind of moved around a little bit. That would be cool. So I guess the thought is if I push this. So he's attacking this pawn right now. I don't really want to lose it, so I'm going to push this. <clears throat> if he pushes this right now, I think I can just back up. <clears throat> so kind of want to drop this in and bring the knight forward a square I think is that what I want to do or I could let's get the queen on a better diagonal hold on if I do this and take he takes I could then do something like that Or I'm gonna I'm gonna move my queen over. Yeah. And my thought is is that I have access on this diagonal and I'm gonna try and push the pawn. And my rooks are connected now and I can uh, maybe bring this rook over if I need to. I'm going to use the bishop, I guess, as more of a defensive piece, at least for the time being. I don't know. Kind of not good at um, some of the ideas in these positions. If he pushes this, I can just play that, right? I think so. If he pushes this... I actually have to move the bishop or I could take he takes and I can't take and then I got to move the bishop which might be the move leaves this file open but my bishop is here don't want him to get a queen in there though Um, yeah, so trying to be at least competitive on time with this guy. He is playing quicker than I am, and uh, I need to play a little faster if I want to stay relevant. We're still deep in this game, and I only have four and a half minutes left. So if we get into an end game, it's going to be really hard for me. Right now, if this stupid knight wasn't here, I could take this pawn, and I wouldn't have to worry about as much, I feel like. I'm more worried about him pushing the pawns right now. I think I need to back the bishop up, but. Whew. All right, he brings over a rook. I'm going to drop the bishop back, bring this rook over, push the pawn. I'm actually thinking about just pushing the pawn, maybe even first, but I think, uh, so if he pushes this pawn, I'm thinking I'm just going to play like this. It's kind of scary. Um, if he pushes this pawn, this, if he pushes this just that I don't know I feel like I have plenty of pieces over I tend to play kind of passively and lose whereas when I play aggressively I tend to find something but my opponent hasn't really blundered from what I can see oh he's just gonna bring another pawn to the party beautiful um 
I guess in that case, I'm going to attack. He can take that. I'm going to take the... Um, I can move here. I don't think I really want to do that. Maybe queen here. And I can bring the rook to get behind. Start trying to jump this knight in. got these knights now which are going to be a little bit of a threat I'm wondering should I bring this knight over to here to go here what should I do if he plays that and I'm here I take he takes I'm not liking that so much um could just bring the rook over. I think getting this knight in here is fine. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the rook over involved. And we're going to get the knight in here. And I'm going to get my king active. So that's what's going to happen. Captain. And uh, yeah. So I don't know why he's powering up on this. Um, seems he got a little spooked. If I push... He takes. I'm down to trade, so I'll jump the I'll jump my knight in here, and I'll get this rook over here just like I wanted. I didn't want to jump over here, and then he takes with the I don't know. Maybe it's not a big deal, but um. I need to get this bishop a little more active. So I'm thinking about doing this. Dropping the bishop down to f8 maybe. Getting this knight in just seems like a really good idea. I should probably focus on that and maybe walk my king to the center of the board. He has three minutes. So I have three minutes. We finally equalized on time. He is a pawn up. I kind of like sacked a pawn to get something happening. So I'm sure the computer doesn't like that, but I don't care. Maybe getting the knight up here is just a better move altogether than trying to really win this pawn. I might just get it. Um, yeah, so I probably, I'm probably not going to really, I, I mean, I'll try and win the pawn, but I'm going to try other things, I think.
Um, so we definitely got my opponent thinking now. That's good. We're up a minute, which is my how the turn tables, right? I mean, that's good. Be cool if he like moved his king here or something, or here, because I'm gonna give a check and take the pawn. Right now, I just want to take the pawn, so it's my main thought. He is really letting himself go on the time. He must be confident. So... I, I'm still thinking get the knight in. I had kind of an alternate plan of dropping the bishop back to put pressure here, which maybe that's a better idea, but I don't know. I'm going to go for this and start trying to win tempos. King can't go here, so I'm thinking about taking this pawn. I'm also attacking this right now, so there is that. Um... takes we could take with check so he gives the pawn back he defended this but quit defending that he needed a push I think all right so we get check Check. Um, we'll start bringing my king. I don't want to play too fast. I need to get this bishop a little more active right now. That's kind of my first order of uh, operations. But I, oh, after, I want to get my king moving. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know if I really want to trade. Um, it does give me a pass pawn, though. I could take. He takes. I don't really want to do that, either. I'm just going to come over here. If he wants to do that, that is a passed pawn. I will take it. Um... Looks like I'm not going to be able to hang on to it, though. Um, we're going to walk our king up in here. I'll make the king step back. Walk up in here. He'll let me. All right, he doesn't. We will reroute the bishop. He's attacking this. He's also attacking this. I can just drop my king back and defend both. Um, I guess I will. Don't really want to. Oh man, I lose it. I lose something, huh? Dang it, dude. Ah, this is a better square. Man, I'm having trouble winning his pawns. I don't want to go here and lose this pawn. I don't want to go here. Takes. 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 I don't want any of that. I moved my... My bishop is inferior right now. This sucks.
he's defending that way. Interesting. Check. Check. And... Can I just come in here? Or am I going to get in a lot of trouble? Ugh, man. I don't want to lose, but I'm losing. <laughs> Not cool. That pawn is basically can never be gotten now. That's awesome. Um, whoa, I almost mouse slipped. Wants to sit right there. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to survive. A little bugger, dude. <sighs> little punk, dude. I got nothing on this. I mean, I'm lost, entirely lost. Got nothing. Um. Oh, man. What a little bunch of crap, dude. Oh, man. I got nothing. Well, you guys get to talk to me about how I should study end games. That's cool. Eighty point three percent played accuracy on my end, eighty five point two on his. Um just a slob, a semi slav defense. Uh this wasn't that great of a move. I could just take this at one point. Like, he's not going to actually do anything. So, there was that. Um, A5 here was not the move either. Wanted me to break it open like this. So, here we go. Just being little badasses. Um... Pushing again would have been better because it makes this weakness. And then, I don't know, we could probably put some pressure on that piece, is the thought. Um, I am winning, but not now. Well, that move missed an opportunity to... Uh, yeah, I was worried about this. I thought he was just going to go for it. I was going to have to back my bishop up, and it was going to lead to some trouble but he never went for it i actually got to get the attack first so my queen move 
I, I, these were my two options that I was calculating. I didn't really calculate very much. I did initially want to play queen to c4, but I decided the queen trade wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, yeah, he didn't take either, and taking is not the best option. Going here is... Um, Should have brought a rook over here now that I'm looking at everything. I mean, something different should have happened for sure. Um, I was okay with the trade. Computer doesn't like kind of what I started doing here. So getting the knight in first would have been better. Um, I thought this was fine. However, I have a bishop that just sucks. So... Yeah, taking with the knight was apparently the way to go. I just was worried about them getting a passed pawn, but it's not really a passed pawn. It actually just, if he takes with this one, it ensures I have a passed pawn. Um, if he takes with this one, it's just annoying, and I just have to keep an eye on it, I guess. I could fight the integrity of the structure after I walk my king up there with a move like this. Um, so, I'm still not winning. Like, I'm... This is a losing end game for well now it's equal. But um Yeah, I mean it is what it is. Pushing the pawn wasn't the best move. The best move was to strike in the center and split this up. Give my give my bishop targets. Um I had plenty of time. I just don't know how to play end games, I guess. So that's on me. If he takes, I take. We're still fine, I, I guess. I mean, I got targets then, and I get to stop his structure. So a lot of my problem was these pawns. I just kind of let them build their own breaks and stuff. So basically, the pa I mean, I had so many mistakes in this position. That's a lot of mistakes. It's completely winning for white here. I mean, I, I got no hope, and I just kind of suffered till the end where I resigned. Um, played like a 1450, played like a 1600. You wouldn't know it because I lost some rating. So that one's tough. I hate losing like... A game that I felt like kind of comfortable in for a little while but I also just had no set plans I tried to make plans y'all heard me they probably weren't good plans because you see how the game ended up partially that's due to my end game um, actually a lot of it is due to that end game I had a drawn position there for a second but I think it's hard to see when you suck at end games um, that kind of an end game when I took or when he took my knight with his knight um, that ended up being a hard one for me to see. But we had a lot of mistakes in this game. So a lot to work on. Um, I mean, I had six fucking mistakes. Excuse my French. <laughs> that is a lot. So and they were all right there kind of at the end of the game. Or most of them were. Not all of them. We had this one. We had this one. Whoops. This one. The queen move. I had a few misses, too, that I'm not clicking on, but the king move forward was also a bad move. Um, should have taken with the knight. Uh, we had this one. Pushing the pawn. Uh, yeah, the better move was to... I think it was strike in the center was what it was saying. Yeah. And uh, this one was whatever I mean I don't I don't know wasn't the best move by any means it still wants this and we're losing but there is a little bit of chance now there is zero chance ah, what are you gonna do we're trying our best out here so two draws and now we have lost so we're due for a win we need to get a win that is next on the agenda. So hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll catch you tomorrow. See you then.